In the last lecture, we solved nine different problems based on time variancy of a system and after solving those nine problems, we had three different conditions for a system to be time invariant system. You can see the three conditions on your screen. According to first condition, there should be no time scaling in the input and also in the output. According to condition number two, the coefficient multiplied to the input term should be constant it should not be the function of time and according to last condition the third condition any added or subtracted term in the system relationship except input and output must be constant or zero so we obtained these three conditions after solving the nine problems and we have quite familiarity with the process of finding out if the system is time invariant or the time variant but to save our time we will use the conditions directly there is no need to follow the conventional steps you can directly use these three conditions to find out if the system is time invariant or time variant now we will start with the tenth problem in the tenth problem the output yt is equal to x t plus 1 plus x t minus 1 so this is what we have this is the system relationship and we are required to find out if the system is time invariant or time variant so first we will check condition number one there should be no time scaling in the input and also in the output in the output there is no time scaling we only have t here no 2t 3t or t square t cube and if you see the two input terms you will find there is only time shifting here we have t plus 1 which is the case of time shifting and here we have t minus 1 which is also the case of time shifting so there is no time scaling involved and the first condition is satisfied in this system relationship now let's check the condition number two the coefficient should be constant here the coefficient is equal to one and here also the coefficient is equal to one so the coefficient is constant it is not function of time so the condition number two is also satisfied now let's check the last condition the third condition any added or subtracted term in the system relationship except input and output must be constant or zero here we have output term input term and input term so there is no other term except inputs and output therefore the third condition is also satisfied there is no added or subtracted term if there was any added or subtracted term then it should not be the function of time and as all the three conditions are satisfied the system is time invariant system so you can see it is pretty easy to check if the system is time invariant or time variant if you know the three conditions for the time invariant systems now we will move to the next problem the 11th problem in the 11th problem output yt is equal to integration minus infinity to t x tau d tau x tau d tau and we already know from the lectures of causal and non-causal systems to analyze a system performing the integration we can put this t here in place of tau the upper limit we can put here you can also put the lower limit but in this case the lower limit is minus infinity so there is no need to put the lower limit we will only put the upper limit and we will have x t and now we will analyze y t equal to x t you can see the first condition is satisfied there is no time scaling in the output and also in the input second condition is also satisfied there is only one coefficient which is equal to one and it is constant the third condition is satisfied again there is no added or subtracted term therefore this particular system relationship is the relationship of time invariant system now let's solve the twelfth problem here output yt is equal to integration minus infinity to t x 3 tau d tau again we will repeat the same process 
we will put the upper limit here it will give us x 3t now let's check the first condition there should be no time scaling but here there is time scaling 3 is multiplied to t which is the case of time scaling so first condition is violated and because of this the system is time variant system so you cannot generalize the integration in case of time invariant and time variant systems the system performing the integration may be time invariant or maybe it can be time variant it all depends on the upper limit and the lower limit of integration as well as the function which you are integrating now we will solve the 13th and the last problem of this lecture in this output y t is equal to integration minus infinity to t cos tau x tau d tau let's follow the same process we will put t here and we will put t here as we need to replace all the taus by the upper limit which is t so we will have cos t x t the first condition says there should be no time scaling in the input and also in the output in the output there is no time scaling and also in the input there is no time scaling the second condition says there should be a constant coefficient if there is a coefficient it should be constant in this case we have a coefficient which is cos t but it is not constant it is function of time here we have t therefore the second condition is not valid for this particular system relationship and thus the system is time variant system so this is all for this lecture there is no homework problem for you and in the next lecture we will discuss what are split systems and how to check if they are time invariant or time variant if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one